Hi, my name is Mlum Mlungu. I want you to come along on the journey with me as I share my story. Hi, my name is Mlum Mlungu. I am a member of the Durban Church of Christ in uh, Durban, South Africa. Yeah, I wanted to, sh uh, to share the experience we had in the last week. Uh, where we saw a lot of uh, violence, a lot of looting uh, in the country, and in particular in, in Durban. Um, it uh, was unnerving, but uh, some amazing nuggets of uh, incredible stories that have come out of, of what happened last week. Uh, I live in a community uh, called Westville, uh, which is a, a west suburb, suburb in, in Durban. Um, and, uh, and it, what was incredible was just the amount of uh, community rallying around and ensuring that we protect uh, uh, our community from anyone coming in to vandalize uh, or to loot uh, the shops in our area. Uh, it was amazing how uh, suddenly we realized that this was about, you know, uh, difference between those who have and those who don't have, it didn't matter what race you are, if you had something, you felt threatened. Um, I mean, I, I just uh, suffer from anxiety, and um, and and on medication for that, and, um, uh, and just on the day that the looting started, that's when I ran out of my meds, and uh, typically when that happens, it would have sent me in a downward spiral. It's incredible how. I, re I refocus my energy and really just pray for God to help guide me. So instead of, you know, to think of the worst case scenario, what would happen, uh, I decided I want to be a volunteer. So I started walking around uh, and uh, patrolling with the community in the area, with the community policing forum that is uh, uh, that's in charge of, uh, of patrolling in our area. And it was men, women, even sometimes teenagers coming out in their numbers. Uh, really, uh, in the day, and we had late night shifts, a few nights where I had 12 to 2 uh, in morning shifts of, of patrolling our area. And just the, the, the conversations that went on uh, during those times were just, you know, from all color, from all creed, from all background, it was a common resonating feeling, sentiment, if I may call it, that, uh, that uh, this is... This uh, may have been triggered by the arrest of the president of the former president. That's what we thought. And what we saw, the mayhem we saw, though, was the opposite of that. It was a sign of desperation, a sign of uh, you know, hunger. You know, a story of one granny who walked into a shop and took a bread and milk because that's all she needed to feed her family. It made me think. made me think very deeply about the privilege that I have and when I'm using that to help serve others around me. So as tragic an event as last week was, it was a point of reflection for me. Flags all saying the same thing, that uh, we understand the difficulty that these people are faced with every day. For them, uh, it was a matter of just an opportunity to get food. Uh, but also I'm amazed by the church community and how we rallied together in prayer. Uh, you know, we had days where we committed, you know, lunch times to just the entire church to get together and pray. Um, and yeah, it's amazing how God has really worked uh, and continues to work in these situations. I met, met new people in the process, connected with neighbors that I never connected with before. And some really deep conversations about life and what really matters. And uh, so uh, it, is, it has been a difficult week and tough to, 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 to our families. But uh, unfortunately, I'm among the privileged who was fearing for my life, for the security of my house, and, uh, and had their means to go out there and protect ourselves. And it made me think about how about those who are out there, whose lives are daily lives, their daily lives, it's about 
you know, ask him for food, just for something to eat, for the families to eat tonight, every night. And so it was very sobering for me. And uh, and my anxiety went away for the week, thank goodness. And, uh, and it really focused my mind and heart on how can I be, be the difference that I want to see? I always say to my girls, you, you want to be, you want to see the difference in the world? Be the difference you want to see happen. And I believe as a community, we have to start making a big difference in the communities we reside in by being the difference you want to see. You know, um, helping where there is their needs, serving communities and, and uh, just being the image bearers that Christ called us to be. So it was a week that felt like a very long, long week. Uh, there was a meme, a meme that said, this last week was the longest year of my life. I think uh, I could relate to, this, to, to the sentiment that that person felt. That's my story. And the antidote for anxiety, partly, partly, yeah, I still need the medication, but I think for me it was being outward focus, thinking about others and thinking about other people's needs, and helping to meet those that helped me this week when I could not rely on medication to do that. That's my story. God bless.